वेलकम हियर आर दी थर्टी फ्रिक्वेंटली आस्क क्वेश्चन अबाउट ग्रेनुलेशन प्रोसेस इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री सब्सक्राइब टू चैनल फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेटिव कंटेंट दिस इज फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ द सीरीज यू कैन गेट लिंक ऑफ अदर टू वीडियोज दैट इज टैबलेट कॉम्प्रेशन प्रोसेस एंड टैबलेट कोटिंग प्रोसेस इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स वी विल स्टार्ट द सीरीज विथ वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन वॉट इज इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ ग्रेनुएशन प्रोसेस इन टैबलेट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ग्रेनुएशन प्रोसेस इज यूज टू इम्प्रूव फ्लो प्रॉपर्टीज which is basic requirement for the compression process it is also used to increase compaction to prevent segregation to get better control over uniformity and assay and to prevent line loss due to dusty environment what are the commonly used equipments in granulation process following are the commonly used equipments in the granulation process fbd that is fluidized bed dryer fbp fluidized bed processor rmg shifter and sieves blender and other equipments that used in granulation process are oscillating granulator dry mill multi mill wet mill tray dryer etc what are the excipient classes used in granulation process following are the main classes of excipients that are used in granulation process depending on the nature of product these are diluents binders disintegrants lubricants glidants colorants and flavoring agents what are the two types of granulation process first type of granulation process is dry granulation this is done without using a liquid solution second type is wet granulation this is done with the addition of liquid solution with or without binder this one is one more important question what are the steps followed during wet granulation and dry granulation There are three steps which are common for the both wet granulation and dry granulation. These are weighing, sieving and premixing. After this in case of wet granulation wetting or binder addition is done followed by sieving of wet mass, drying of wet mass, sieving of dried wet mass and finally final mixing or final blending. Whereas in case of dry granulation after initial three stages slugging or roller compression is done followed by screening and finally final mixing or final blending what are the advantages of dry granulation there are majorly five advantages of using dry granulation technique first it is a rapid method second it requires low energy third no hydrolytic decomposition fourth it is good for heat sensitive products and fifth expensive drying operations can be avoided what are the steps of direct compression direct compression can be done in a four steps first weighing second sieving third mixing and fourth is compression the primary requirement for direct compression process is good flowability and compressibility of powder what are the commonly observed defects during granulation process commonly observed defects during granulation process are overweighting underweighting over drying under drying excessive fine segregation and assay issues due to inadequate mixing how the flow properties of manufactured granules is measured flow properties of granules is measured by any one of the following method first angle of repose car index or hausner ratio second discharge rate or third shear method flow properties of granules is primarily depend on the particle size shape and surface texture what is effect of lower lod and higher lod that is loss on drying during granulation process if lod is high it shows high moisture level in granules and called under drying which results in sticking or picking whereas if lod is low below limit called over drying results in excessive fine more loss capping and lamination what are the sieve selection criteria Sieve selection is done based on the following four factors first required granule size second weight of tablet expected third disintegration time expected and fourth dissolution profile expected 40 to 400 mesh sieves are used in pharmaceutical manufacturing during sifting and milling of raw material mesh is the number of openings in one linear inch of any sieve or screen a 10 mesh sieve will have 10 openings and a 400 mesh sieve will have 400 openings in one linear inch 
Why blend uniformity testing is important after completion of granulation process? Blend uniformity analysis is an important in process test that is useful for ensuring the adequacy of the mixing of active pharmaceutical ingredient with other components of drug product. What are diluents and binders used in granulation process? Diluents are the inert ingredients that are added to enhance the bulk of tablet to make it right size for compression. Example, mannitol, sorbitol, starch, lactose, sucrose, etc. Whereas binders are materials that are used to produce granules. When the binder is added to the powder mixture, it holds the powder together and form granules. Example, MCC that is microcrystalline cellulose, methyl cellulose, hydroxy propyl cellulose, etc. What is RMG and what are the components of RMG? RMG stands for Rapid Mixer Granulator which is high shear mixer and it is equipment used for weight granulation. The major components of RMG are mixing bowl, impeller blades, chopper blades, binder addition hopper, breathing filter, view port, discharging port, pneumatic sealed lid and HMI. This is one more important question how RMG works. Powder to be mixed or added into the product mixing bowl of RMG are mixed with the solvent with the help of impeller blades. The chopper blades breaks down lumps and later this wet mass is passed through the wet mill to get a wet sieved mass. Which equipments are used for drying process? Product manufactured by weight granulation process in pharmaceutical industries are dried using one of the following two equipments. First tray dryer and second is fluidized bed dryers. What are the main factors that affect drying process of weight granulation using FBD? Following are the main factors that affect drying process of weight granulated product using FBD. First drying temperature, second drying time, third product trolley load and fourth fan motor speed. Can we use one finger back for two different products? Ideally, we should not use one finger back for two different products. Finger back of FBD shall be product dedicated to avoid cross contamination. What we should check during line clearance for granulation process? Following are the checkpoints for line clearance for granulation process. First, the area is properly cleaned and labeled. Second, equipment cleaning and labeling. Third, no leftover of previous product. Fourth, temperature and humidity level of area. Fifth, differential pressure. Sixth, balance verification. Seventh, signed BMR and manufacturing order is available. And eighth, verification of lots and weight of materials. What are the disadvantages of overweighting of granules? Here, six major disadvantages of overweighting of granules are mentioned. First, wet mill sieve clogging. Second, Hard granules will be produced after drying. Third, difficulty in dry saving. Fourth, production of less fines which may promote capping or lamination during compression. Fifth, prolonged disintegration time. And sixth, retarded dissolution profile. Next question, what is binder activation method? When binder is in dry form and it is later activated by solvents, this process is known as binder activation. What is the relation between amount of binder and dissolution profile? If the amount of binder in weight granulation is very high, it will result in strong bounding of granules, so drug release will be very slow and dissolution profile will be low. Whereas, if a very less quantity of binder is used during weight granulation, it will result in weak bounding and will result in capping or low hardness friable tablets. Which parameters are important while deciding batch size in fluidized bed dryer? Volume and bulk density are two important factors for determining batch size. Other factors that affect on determining batch size are material being used, type of process to be done, and room height. What are the important components of fluidized bed dryer? Important components of fluidized bed dryer are body of fluidized bed dryer which is made up of stainless steel, air preparatory unit, product container or bowl, expansion chamber, exhaust filter, exhaust blower, 
control panel, air distribution plate, a bead box that is finger box, plenum and gasket. What is use of preheating in Frida's bed dryer? Preheating of granules is done to prevent granules from adhering to the bowl. Temperature range between 40 to 50 degrees Celsius is commonly used for preheating purpose. How to control lumps or oversized particles? Lumps or oversized particles can be reduced by using following remedies. Lower the spraying rate, increase inlet air and product temperatures, increase atomizing pressure or increase process air flow. How to control fines during granulation process? Fines during granulation process can be controlled by using following remedies. Decrease product temperature, decrease air inlet volume, shorter drying time, increase binder amounts or lower atomizing pressure. Which type of blenders are commonly used during granulation process? Commonly used blender types are octagonal blender, fish-shaped blender or bean blender. Two-thirds of the volume of these blenders need to be filled for proper mixing. From which locations we should remove samples from octagonal blender? You can refer below schematic for identifying the locations from where we should remove the samples from octagonal blender. Basically, we should remove the samples from top layer, middle layer and bottom layer. Last but very important question, what are the advanced granulation techniques? Following are the advanced granulation techniques, foam binder granulation, hot granulation techniques, steam granulation, reverse weight granulation, freeze granulation, moisture activated dry granulation and pneumatic dry granulation. Keep watching FarmGrow, subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.